Hey guys, so I am back with my tips for clarinet video. I think this is going to be a part one because I feel like this is going to be a very long video, so I'm probably gonna make a part two or a part three depending how long I talk in this video. I know like a lot of people say I talk a lot, but I'm gonna try to talk really fast through this, but get through everything that I need to get through. I've been reading all sorts of comments from you guys and I know most of you have either gotten your clarinets and it's like your very first clarinet and are just learning how to play or you guys just want some basic tips on how to be a better player, this is the place to come. Um, I'm going to be staring at my laptop like which is right there so um, just know that I am going to be reading stuff and not always looking up at the camera because that's just how I roll. Just as a little disclaimer, these are my personal tips from my own experiences. Don't think I'm like a professional player because I am not. I actually play with professionals, but I myself am not a professional professional in any way. So if I say something that you think might be wrong, just leave a comment below and just let everyone else know because I don't even know if I'm 100% right. These are just my tips, like I said. Um, this is what got me through elementary, middle, and high school, and they've been getting me through college, so yeah, um, let's just get on to the tips. Okay, so my first tips are on reeds, and first of all, do not bite your reeds because reeds are pretty expensive to begin with, so you don't want to like waste your reeds and have to go buy new reeds every time you bite them and plus um, chipped reeds are not good so just throw them away if yours is chipped like if there's a little slit through it then I just throw it away because I that's like one of my pet peeves now I used to bite my um, reed all the time when I played my clarinet like I guess the my bottom teeth would like always bite on my mouthpiece and um, making the reed or causing the reed to chip so if you're one of those people just try to um, get rid of that habit because it's a really bad habit to have trust me I would know I had that same habit in like fifth grade so just try not to bite your reeds a lot or at all <laughs> my second tip I already mentioned kind of um, do not play on chipped reeds because not only will your sound quality be bad um, some notes might be hard to play. If your reed is chipped, then just simply throw it away because that reed has no use for playing anymore and it should just be thrown out. Okay, my third tip is very, very important whether you're you know, a beginner or intermediate player, you want to get into the habit of switching out your reeds every, either every day, every couple days, or every week, it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure you play on one reed and then maybe the next day you want to play on another read and then the third day you play on your third read and that way you just switch out playing your reads because it's just healthy um, if you're if one of your read breaks or chips then you don't have to like break another one in and have like your sound be a little off and um, you will have a backup read that you're used to playing with so that's kind of the idea behind switching out reads I mean, I know the guy next to me who is a professional clarinet player. He switches out his reeds every day, and so do I, and you should too. My fourth tip is kind of an obvious tip, um, but just in case it isn't clear, you want to make sure you are playing on a really moist or wet reed. Um, you don't want to play on dry reeds because A, your notes will be really hard to play, and it'll be hard to like breathe when your reed is really dry and you'll squeak a lot and it's just not good for your sound so you just want to make sure you're like by a nearby water fountain and just keep it wet, wet it for like 10 seconds or so and then put it in your mouth or just simply put it in your mouth while you're setting up um, your clarinets and have all your like saliva um, moisten it up or or you know, this is what a lot of like oboe players or, or saxophone or any other reed instruments do. They actually um, have like this cup of water and they just dip like two or three reeds. I personally don't do it, but I probably should. So I'm probably going to buy like a little cup or container or tupper or something like that and just put my reed inside a cup of water. 
That way it's wet all the time. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about what strength reed do I use, and I actually use three and a half on Van Dorn Paris reeds. Um, I don't recommend that you start off on three and a half Van Dorn Paris reeds because it's just, you have to like build your way up to that by like going half step reeds, if you know what I mean. I definitely recommend that you start off with Rico reeds, especially because Rico is a really popular brand. And um, it's one that I started off with. Just start off with the strength read too. If you don't know what your strength read number is, it's like usually on the box with a number and it's circled. So with Van Doren reads, for example, this is just my box. It's kind of crushed, but um, it has three and a half right here and three and a half right there. So that is obviously my strength read number. So um, for, for those who are wondering what reads and strength that I use. Um, I use three and a half Van Doren reads, but I definitely recommend you use Rico reads in the strength number two. Okay, my last tip on reads is never eat candy before playing your clarinet unless you rinse or brush your teeth after. And what I mean by that is um, just try to avoid eating foods before playing your clarinet because if you eat something and like you don't rinse or um, brush your teeth or do anything to get all like the food stuff out then um, all the sugars or like food particles or whatever go into your reed and into your clarinet or instrument and it, it'll like deteriorate the inside of your instrument so um, just try to be careful if you're gonna eat say you have lunch and then you have band right after just rinse your mouth so that is my advice on reads. Okay, I get a lot of questions about tuning and Claire and I are here to help you. Okay, so if you get the feeling that you are sharp or high in pitch, then here's what you do. Um, you pull out your barrel, which is right here, and you pull it out just a tad bit. This is what it's going to sound like when you're sharp. That's roughly what it'll sound like. And then um, you're going to pull out, and I don't have a tuner with me, so I, I don't know. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. And this is what you should sound like when you're in tune, kind of. That might have been a little flat, but you could definitely tell a difference. And with your embouchure, you just want to loosen your lips and your embouchure because if you bite or put pressure on your um, mouthpiece then the pitch will tend to go up so if you're really sharp you just want to relax your mouth and pull your barrel out now if you're flat you're going to want to do the exact opposite and that is you're going to want to push in your barrel and put a little more pressure on your mouthpiece from your lips so this is what it sounds like when it is flat just so you know that was incredibly flat and you're going to want to push in your barrel and put a little more pressure or bite on your mouthpiece from your embouchure now you guys could tell that that was a huge difference in pitch so um, that is basically how I tune. It would help if you have a tuner with you so you know like when you're, you're like exactly in tune. But um, I don't use a tuner so I hope that helped you guys on how to tune. Okay, breathing is essential when you're playing clarinets because you can't play without breathing in and out of your instrument. So, um, when you breathe, you want to breathe in from your diaphragm and not your shoulders. If your shoulders are going up when you breathe, then you're breathing wrong and you need to fix that. Okay, when you breathe in, your stomach should expand, like, and when you breathe out, your stomach should go back to its, like, regular shape. Take, for example, your lungs are like a balloon. When you breathe in, your lungs will expand, causing your stomach to expand as well. So when you fill a balloon with air, it'll expand, and when you like let it go, it'll go back to its original shape. That's basically how lungs work. You, when you breathe in, 
it'll expand and when you breathe out it'll go back to its original shape. And usually what I like to do when breathing is I like to breathe in from my mouth even though some people breathe in from their nose or they circular breathe meaning they can like breathe in and out at the same time which is really crazy because I can't do that. Breathing through your nose is fine. I mean you won't take in as much air but um, I usually breathe in from my mouth. So that is all the tips that I have for part one and part two will cover scales, music, and other stuff. So um, be on the lookout for part two and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Um, let me know if it's useful for all you beginner players or intermediate players out there. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, or check out my blog if you want the notes to all the cover songs that I make and um, let me know if you have any requests of songs that you want me to cover and um, I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support that you guys have given me. You guys are the best. This is the reason why I like making videos is to help you guys because you all inspire me to keep doing what I do and just thank you and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.